I first heard the word immigrant, I had no idea what it meant. I didn't even know what the problem of the paper but it said divine, divine immigrant. Hello everyone, my name is Shem Adams. I'm a seventh grader at the Indian District School for Arts and Communication. In sixth grade, when I walked into social studies class, my teacher handed me and my classmates a paper. Two words, define immigrant. My mom was blank. I was scared to get a bad grade on it. I tried to think, but nothing came to my mind. Little did I know, these two words were going to turn into something huge. After we were done, our teacher explained to us that we were going to interview 16 immigrants throughout southeastern Connecticut to learn the backstories on how they got here. Then we found that by taking the time to become educated and then put our education into action, we can make the world a better place for us and for others in our community. My grandfather immigrated to the United States from the Philippines. He had a tough life when he got to America. If he wasn't courageous enough to make his heroic journey, I would not be standing here in front of you today. Immigration is a part of who I am. One of my classmates pointed out that immigrants aren't just the people you see on the news. Immigrants are us. All of us here today, we are a nation of immigrants. My classmates and I didn't want to stop talking about our project. At lunch, instead of catching up on what we did that weekend, we talked about the stories we heard in our interviews. Our friend Delaney said that she started reading a book about immigration before bed every night and was starting to read her life. We didn't just hear their stories, we got to know them as people. Their love, their fears, their hopes, and their dreams. We realized that the more we listen, the more similarities we have each person we interviewed and photographed. We present our work and sell our books at these events. All of the money raised from our book is donated to our local immigration advocacy and support center in London. Our book sales have raised enough money so far to help an immigrant we interview and start the next heroic journey of becoming a citizen, legally in the United States. We never imagined the impact it would have on the people we interviewed. After one of our events, one of our immigrants wrote a fake note to us which said, words cannot describe how proud I feel to have my story show with so many people. For the first time since I got here 10 years ago, I feel like I have a voice. I now see how important it is to become smart and do something with your learning for it to matter. We can all do something wonderful if we take the time to learn from others just like we learned in school. To end, I'd like to share one of the things that Luke Mon, an immigrant Ghana, said in his interview. How about you sit down for five to ten minutes with that person you call an immigrant? Have a conversation with that person. Listen to that person and you'll be amazed by what you find. Who knows, you might even be the immigrant you never knew. I now know what the word immigrant means in so many ways. The quote of the book really hit me. Crew, if you get to know any immigrant and what they've been through, you realize that they're not just immigrant. They are a person too with a voice that should be heard. Thank you.